silence. Just thinking about these isolated pieces of land makes you feel at peace. It would be nice to unplug from all the tech and the hustle and bustle once in a while and escape into a remote island for a perfect getaway. While there are thousands of them around the world, not all of them are your stereotypical tropical escape. Some are rather unusual. Here are 12 of the strangest islands that exist, and you'd be surprised. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Here we go! Number 12. Ball's Pyramid For the first one, we need to travel all the way to the southern hemisphere to the land down under. 370 miles off the eastern coast of Australia, you'd be surprised to come across this alien structure poking out in the middle of nowhere. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that it's not some extraterrestrial artifact, but a tall sea stack, the tallest in the world. At a height of 1,843 feet, the Ball's Pyramid is like a skyscraper in the Pacific Ocean. Though there are no humans living on this oceanic skyscraper, conservationists rediscovered the Dryococcalus australis, a species which was long thought to be extinct. Oddly, these charcoal black creatures match with the terrain of the Ball's Pyramid. They're also nicknamed land lobsters or walking sausages. You ever think you'd hold one? Number 11. Okunoshima From an island with creepy crawlies like the land lobsters, we move on to one with these furry alternatives. The Okunoshima is a must-visit if you love rabbits. This tiny 2.5-mile-wide island in the Sea of Japan is home to over a thousand feral rabbits, which has earned Okunoshima Island the nickname of Rabbit Island. What makes the rabbits on this island so different is that they're used to having human company and often flock towards tourists who visit. They know that tourists equals food, so what you end up seeing are hundreds of rabbits chasing you down a street waiting to be fed a tasty treat. Sounds like the perfect place to visit, but things weren't always cute and fun in the island of Okunoshima. During World War II, the island was used as a base to produce poisonous gases for chemical warfare that was carried out in China at the time. The facility was so top secret that any evidence of its existence was completely wiped out, even as much as removing the island off Japanese maps. So, how did these cute rabbits come into such a top secret facility? Some speculations claim that rabbits were brought in as test subjects for the poisonous gases. Once the facility was shut down, they were euthanized. Another popular theory is that several schoolchildren released these rabbits at the island in the 1970s. No one knows for sure, but one thing is for certain, these rabbits are happy here. Number 10. Nekashima If rabbits aren't your thing, then Japan has got another option for you. Cats. Islands littered with them. Yes, cat lovers out there would be ecstatic to know that such a place exists. Nekashima, or Cat Islands, are a group of tiny 11 islands across the Japanese coast which are home to thousands of cats. Though it wasn't always like this, these islands were once booming fishing towns back in the 1940s. Since fishing was a major part of the people living in these areas, they adopted cats to deal with a mice infestation which killed silkworms that provided the silk for making fishing nets. Thanks to the cats, the fishermen could venture out into the sea and come back with a catch which served as their livelihood. Sadly, over the decades, the fishing industry on these islands declined, but the cats, however, continued to thrive. On the island of Aoshima, one of the cat islands, the cat-to-human ratio is as much as 6 to 1. This rise in feline population gave rise to many cat-loving tourists to visit these islands, and now has become a thriving tourism industry in itself. Seems like the villagers have the cats to thank once again. Number 9. The Rotating Island Here's an island which is worth checking out from the sky. In the swampy marshes of the Piranha Delta in Argentina, you're going to come across this mysterious geographical feature. The Eye is a 387-foot disc-like island within the confines of a clear water lake. What makes it even more unusual is that the island actually moves around within the lake. These time-lapse satellite images taken since 2003 show the island rotating around the lake as if some mysterious gears underneath the ground are moving it. As of now, there's no clear explanation on why this happens. Scientists have compared this phenomenon with these ice disks. The ice disks are formed when a water current flows into one side of a water body and rotates into one circular direction and slowly freezes over to create a disk of frozen water. It's popular a similar slow-moving current underneath the lake of this mysterious island could be responsible for its strange rotation, though it's still hard to confirm if this theory is in fact true, but it's the best explanation we have for now. Fascinating. Number 8. Migingo the island of Megingo is definitely something you don't usually see. 
This tiny island with around 500 people densely packed under its corrugated roof is a spot where many fishermen live. The island is situated just off the eastern banks of Lake Victoria, which is known for its bountiful and valuable fish reserves. Sounds like pretty much your average fishing village, but set on an island. But here's where the story gets interesting. In 2004, the profitability of Lake Victoria attracted pirates into its waters, which forced the countries of Kenya and Uganda to get involved to protect the Magingo Island in the center of it all. This confrontation sparked the debate on who owned this tiny corrugated island. Though Google Earth would show that Magingo belongs to Kenya since it's within her waters, Uganda claims that the boundary marking on the map is incorrect. This entire diplomatic argument has been called Africa's smallest war. Who do you think will win this argument? Let us know in the comments. Number 7. The World Islands Would you like to buy Germany? Or maybe the massive continent of Australia? Well, now you can, albeit a replica and a smaller version of it. The World Islands off the coast of Dubai is a massive project which created an archipelago in the shape of a world map. 300 islands within this project were created using 11 billion cubic feet of sand drenched from the Persian Gulf. It's so vast that it can be seen from space. Each of these islands are named after the country that it represents in the map. So how much does it cost to buy your own country in the world islands? Well, the cheapest one could set you back by $7 million. And the most expensive one? About $1.8 billion. So unless you have serious cash like Elon Musk, Warren Buffett or Jeff Bezos, you can just keep dreaming. Number 6. Vulcan Point If there's an analogy to compare the next island with, it would be the movie Inception. Vulcan Point in the Philippines is truly one of a kind. So what's so special about it? Oh, this island is in the middle of a lake, in the middle of a volcano, in the middle of a bigger lake, in the middle of a bigger island, in an archipelago in the Pacific Ocean. Just try picturing that. Vulcan Point is surrounded by a lake within the Tal Volcano, which is Philippines' second most active volcano, and this volcano is within a larger lake called Lake Tal within the island of Luzon. If you're to visit Vulcan Point now, you'd be surprised to see the lake within the volcanic crater has mysteriously vanished. On January 12, 2020, the Tal Volcano erupted, causing all the crater to be laden with volcanic debris. The intense heat from the eruption caused the entire lake to dry up as a result. But no need to worry, Vulcan Point somehow managed to survive the entire ordeal. Experts say that Vulcan Point should return to its former glory with a surrounding lake after it gets refilled by rainfall in the coming years. Best to plan your trip then. Number 5. Sable Island If you were to open up Google Earth and look about 190 miles southeast of Nova Scotia, Canada, you'll come across a strange squiggly line in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. If you zoom in enough, you'll soon realize that this squiggly line is in fact an island. Sable Island is an isolated crescent-shaped windswept sandbar which is formed on the ridge of a continental shelf. The island is merely a sliver of land and is just a mile in width and 26 miles in length. For such a tiny and isolated island, it would come as no surprise that no life could possibly thrive here. But that would be completely wrong. Somehow, the island has a healthy population of over 500 wild horses. Now, how they got here is a bit of a mystery. Some claim that a shipwreck from centuries ago might have deposited these wild stallions on the island. Others say it could be a byproduct of the great deportation that happened in Canada in the mid-1700s, and these horses ended up being dumped here. Either way, this seems like the perfect place for these wild horses to continue thriving. The view is gorgeous, though. Number 4. Underground Island Here's an unusual island. Instead of it being in the middle of the ocean, the Salinda Turda is underground, about 400 feet below the Earth's surface. Located in the Durgao Valia Sarata area of Turda, Romania, Salina Turda is a disused salt mine which has been converted into a salt mine museum, the largest of its kind in the world. They flooded the inside with a subterranean lake which surrounds a tiny island in the middle. With unique UFO-like constructions and bright lighting, Salina Turda is unlike any other island, or salt mine for that matter. This spot has attracted about 618,000 Romanians and foreign tourists in 2017, and is definitely a place worth the trek. Number 3. Floating Islands Imagine skipping across this cluster of islands. They look tiny enough to pull it off. They also look like they're floating on the ocean, but upon closer inspection, you'll notice they aren't. What's more, they're not even islands. Maldives consist of 1,200 coral reefs which come in varying sizes. These clusters of coral reefs came to existence because of volcanic eruptions that are believed to have happened millions of years ago. 
The lava, which spewed out, hardened and slowly piled on until it rose above the surface of the ocean, creating islands. After the coral started to thrive, the volcanic island slowly began to sink beneath rising sea levels, but the coral stayed behind. In the end, you're left with these seemingly floating islands, which are actually not really islands, nor floating. Number 2. Gaiola Island Who wouldn't want to live on their own private island? The Gaiola Island off the coast of Naples seems like the perfect real estate for such a dream. What's more, it comes with its own mansion. The two tiny islands are interconnected by a tiny bridge, which looks cool more than being practical, but this island isn't on the list for its picturesque location. The Gaiola Island hides a dark history behind its faded walls. Since the turn of the 20th century, the island has seen various owners trying to call it home but ended up dead. One of its earliest owners, a Swiss man named Hans Brown, was found murdered and wrapped up in a rug. His wife, too, met a cruel fate by drowning in the sea surrounding the island. Another owner, a German man named Otto Grunbach, was found dead from a heart attack while on the island. This trail of mysterious deaths and ill fortune continued till 1978, and the island has since been left abandoned. This is one island which clearly doesn't want anything to do with anyone. Number 1. Runit Island Here's an island which you most definitely shouldn't visit. During the Cold War, the United States tested over 50 atomic and hydrogen bombs on the Bikini and Eniwetak atolls of the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Since the countless testing left behind tons of nuclear waste, there was a need for a hardy nuclear dumping site which could contain these highly radioactive substances. As a result, the Runit Dome on the Runit Island was built to entomb 90,000 cubic meters of radioactive material, including some plutonium-239. In recent years, however, there has been growing concern about the dome cracking due to deterioration of the structure and possibly leaking the radioactive contents into the soil and the surrounding area. Once it gets into the water, its impact could be catastrophic, reaching faraway shores and even poisoning sea life. The US Department of Energy has asked Congress to assess the situation of the structure and push for repair efforts. Until then, the Runnet Island is in a precarious situation and could possibly be one of the most dangerous places on Earth. There you have it, 12 strangest islands that really exist. Would you want to visit any of them? Let us know in the comments. For more similar content, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. See ya!